What's up guys, my name's Jesse, and today we're gonna to be doing something that is illegal in pretty much all the state of Maine at this point in time. So I am gonna be fishing our private pond to catch some brook trout to do the world record catch and cook. This is as fresh as it gets, and let's get to it. Today, we are gonna do something that I've had in my mind for a long time. The problem is, is that you really can't do legally what I'm about to do pretty much anywhere else in Maine at this point. So the idea is, is that right behind me, there's this pond. So my grandfather made this pond and he stocked it with native brook trout back in the day. I don't know if that was legal or not, but too late, they're in there. And so what I've wanted to do for a long time now is to do the world record catch and cook. Now, what I'm gonna do is go on the edge of this pond, build a fire, get out my fly rod, and start casting to these brook trout. And as soon as I hook one, I'm gonna put a frying pan on the coals, clean it out, and have it in that pan in under 30 seconds. So, let's get started, let's go build the fire, and then we'll go catch the fish and get this going. So I'm kind of in a rush today. So this fire is just made up of large logs that I scavenged just really quick on the road here. So here's a little trick. If you don't have a bunch of time to collect Kindle and stuff like that, I'll show you how I like to make a fire. Here's the secret, map gas. <laughs> this takes just a second. <laughs> this is not the bushcraft way, everybody. All right, well, if that fire doesn't get going, we'll just hit it with the map gas again. So let's go rig up our rods, head down to the water, and catch ourselves a brook trout. This morning, I am starting off with uh, one of my brook trout favorites. This is the Wood Special. It's made with a wood duck wing. This one I've tied with a mallard flank just because it's white and I kind of like that sometimes versus yellow. Uh, but this pattern is killer. If you guys want any of these, I'd be happy to tie some up for you. I, uh, I haven't really mentioned it on this channel, but yeah, this, uh, I use this all the time for brook trout. So let's get going. Hopefully that fire will be ready by the time I catch one. Oh, they're just babies. This might be difficult to even hook one. Got one. <laughs> He's just a baby. Oh, he got off. All right, we'll have one here in no time. I don't know how big these fish are. It's been years since I fished for these. I was a kid. There's one, that's a better one. Let's see, how big are you? Oh wow, this thing is beautiful. Look at this male. Yep, we're gonna, we're gonna harvest this fish because you always keep the first one. I'm gonna cast so I can maybe get a second. I almost forgot the reason I'm doing this. I might cast around to uh, maybe see what else is in here after. The whole reason I'm doing this is to do the world record catch and cook here or something like that. I don't know if that's true. So we're actually gonna clean him out immediately and put him right on the coals. <laughs> I almost forgot what I was doing here. Right, so this fire is pretty much ready to go and what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take my pan Set it next to the fire. Actually, we'll kick it down first. And we're gonna set this just on the outer edge to heat it up. We'll take our fish that we got, cut them open, and uh, we're gonna have them fried up in one minute.
Let's get him in the frying pan and get this catch and cook done. <laughs> Gotta go find a stick to flip this guy. So this will do. All right, our fish is done. We're gonna take him off the fire, let him cool down for a little bit, and then we will try it. Yeah, a little too hot for that. Now let's cool this pan down really fast, actually. That way we can just stop it from cooking. This fish has taken me 10, 15 minutes to catch, clean, and cook. And here is our final result. He's just a little morsel. But uh, this is the freshest fish that I have ever eaten, uh, guarantee. Here's some of the meat. And, mm, and he's delicious too. Now for the best part, the crispy tail. That's my favorite part of small brook trout. And there you go. That's all that's left and he's going back in the water so we don't take up too much nutrients from our pond. I really hope you enjoyed that video. That was just a fun little thing that uh, popped into my dad's head yesterday. And I thought, yeah, that'd be cool. I could do the world record catch and cook. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's still what I'm gonna call it because you know it gets clicks. So I really hope you guys enjoyed that catch and cook here at our private pond. Maybe I'll make some more videos here because we are gonna improve this pond so we can have some bigger fish in here one day. And that would be really cool. Now this was a simple catch and cook. Normally I do some more intricate recipes and uh, spend a lot of time camping in my truck cap camper back here. So if you guys wanna see more videos like that, make sure you go down below and subscribe to this channel so you can see more in the future. And if you like the video, hit the like button. Anyway, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this adventure and I will see you in the next one.